How can you recognize a bunny addict? Hello everyone, I am Mariska and I'm the bun mom of four adorable rabbits. Today I'm going to take you through my house and show you why I'm a bunny addict. Of course, apart from the obvious and I can tell you there are a lot of signs. So come with me. So the first thing you see upon entering my house is this giant container. So it looks like a bin <laughs> and I think most people actually think it is a bin but I'm not using it as a bin but as a hay box. So as you can see there's tasty hay in here and the box of course is keeping it fresh. So Sarah and Flipia are the ones uh, eating from this hay box because they live downstairs. So for me the hallway is a convenient place to stash the hay because I don't want it in the living room. It doesn't look very decorative. So this for me is easy. I can go to the hallway and take the hay several times a day and then it's kind of out of sight. So this is something you really cannot miss. So upon entering the living room, there's one rabbit pen. And when we go this way, there's another. So this one is of a Sarah's rabbit pen. And this one is Flipje and Flipje is currently in the pen. And Sarah is outside hopping and munching grass. So the reason Sarah and Flipje cannot live together is that they will fight. They absolutely cannot live together because Sarah will attack Flipje and try to kill her. For that reason, Sarah and Flipje are allowed to hop around separately. So they both have enough hopping time during the day, but it's not ideal. Of course, the ideal situation will be to have two bunnies hopping around together for the house all day long. But this is the situation. I cannot change it, unfortunately. So uh, both bunnies are getting a lot of attention from me and they can sniff each other through the bars. They, still, they can still see each other. They can still have so, well, some contact. But you know, this is how it is. So here's another quite obvious sign and that's my bunny decoration. So this one, this is made of wood. So I love this. I bought it online in a Dutch shop and I think it's so decorative and it fits well with the blue wall. And then of course we have the bunny rug. Yes, it's quite dirty. That's what happens when you have a rug with white in it and rabbits marking that territory. So I'm going to have to clean this <laughs> at a certain point, but you know, haven't come around to it yet. So here you can see a cute bunny. It's made of metal and I think it's very lovely. It's quite heavy, of course, and I haven't seen anything like it before. So there are two more bunnies here. This one I got from the same shop as the metal one and this one is made of copper it's so tiny and cute so these two signs are new i bought them on the local market and there's some dutch uh, text on it and this one i can translate to uh, i only need five seconds to the door and you <laughs> this one looks like flipje and this one says this is my hobby so that's very obvious so as you can see, there's a Miffy here and I love Miffy and in Dutch we say Nijntje and I think this bunny is so cute and minimalistic and this Nijntje is so soft. So up here we have two other bunnies, so they have clothes on. <laughs> I got these from my neighbor because she noticed that I love rabbits. So they have a nice spot here. So let's not forget the toilet bunnies. Aren't they cute? Another sign of being a bunny lover is having these nuggets on the floor. These are of course bunny poops. And sometimes uh, Flipje and Sarah like to poop onto the floor to mark their territory. I even installed a public toilet for my rabbits to poop and pee in because they like to mark next to each other's pen. Especially Sarah, she wanted to mark a territory in that corner. So this really helps. Don't worry, all of my bunnies have been fixed, but still, in spite of that, they still like to mark their territory because, you know, Sarah and Flipje can't live together. So now it's time to go to the garden. So as you can see, my garden is quite large. Um, 
Usually there's a pen for the rabbits, but in my garden <laughs> there's a pen for the plants. So my bunnies have all this hopping space and these fences are new, so there's no way they can get out of the garden. And the plants reside in the rabbit pen. <laughs> so right here I've got a lot of bamboo and of course my bunnies like to munch from the leaves through the pen. So I want my bamboo to grow big but sometimes Sarah likes to chew from these twigs and then you know the bamboo cannot really grow tall. Here there are some garden bunnies, you can find them all through the garden. So you can see a bunny house here but the roof has collapsed because of the rain and such so it's kind of old <laughs> and the bunnies are sinking through. Actually my rabbits don't really use this because they cannot get out. Rabbits don't like places they cannot get out easily from because you know when there's danger. But they do use this tunnel which is actually you know a tunnel used for sewage or something. Uh, you know it's something that doesn't really break so that's handy. Look who's there. Oh, Sarah is already waiting for me. Hi Sarah. How are you doing today? Hi baby. Oh, Sarah is still molting. And you know Sarah hates being brushed. So I'm trying to brush her regularly. But she really hates it. And when I brush her a lot then she starts hating me. But right now she's in a good mood. But sometimes I try to pluck, yeah, <laughs> she knows it. <laughs> sometimes I try to pluck loose hair from her fur. So please don't worry about Sarah. I'm getting a lot of comments online, especially on Instagram about her coat. But she's molting and all bunnies are molting right now. So, you know, she looks a bit like a bag or, or something. <laughs> yes, Sarah. Uh, she will look better soon. So right here I have an apple tree and right now there's only one apple because this is only the second year that I have this uh, uh, apple tree. Here's another one. So I hope to grow a lot of apples soon. Well, in a few years, I guess. So my rabbits also like to, you know, to rest under the garden chairs. Sometimes they seek shelter behind uh, bins here. Well, this is a place I need to reorganize because Sarah likes to use one of these objects to jump over the fence into the garden. And then she likes to munch from uh, the strawberries or something. And of course, she's not allowed to do that. Yes, Sarah, mommy. Bun mom is speaking about you. Rabbits are also very convenient because right now she's munching on the weeds. So I usually don't have to remove the weeds from between the tiles. And of course they also like to, uh, you know, poop in the grass. So that's a good fertilizer. So in this plant I have arugula and some lettuce, but the lettuce is almost gone. But I like to give my bunnies uh, arugula and I also like to eat from it myself. So in this plant I have lots of things growing like herbs. So my bunnies love these herbs. I also have tomato plants. So maybe when the tomatoes are ready I can give my bunnies tomatoes too. So these are still very small. Of course there are more bunnies here. Something you will all probably recognize are the dustpan and broom. And this one is on a stick, so that's very convenient. This is usually something you don't keep in the living room, but in my situation, because my bunnies like to poop onto the floor and sometimes there's hay around, I really have to use this several times a day, so it's more convenient to keep it here instead of somewhere else. Let's not forget the rabbit toys. Of course, all rabbits need toys. So I've got a lovely tunnel right here made of fabric. And this is actually made for a cat. But my rabbits like to sit on top of this. Rabbits love to sit on objects so they can monitor their surroundings. That's something their wild counterparts also like to do in nature. So it's time to go upstairs. And now we have the next thing. So right here you can see a pile of bunny hair. So especially on the stairs I find hair a lot somehow. It's, 
you know, it accumulates here. So we're, here we have the upstairs hallway and you can see pieces of hay and some more poops. And this is all leading towards the bunny room. So I still have to clean the room today, but it's not as bad as it can be. <laughs> this is just something that they do every day. There are some poops onto the floor. There are pieces of hay. So where are the bunnies? Well, this is the guest bed. <laughs> Imagine staying at someone's house into the bunny room, but that's the situation right here. And where are the bunnies? Look at them. Popje, silver. Oh, are you very enthusiastic? Maybe mom, bum mom has got something to eat, right? Hi. Hi. Oh, Popje and Silva. This is Popje and that's Silva. They were actually sleeping under the bed. They liked the bed for cover. It's like their giant hidey house. So this room has several functions. So it's a guest bedroom. So I am using this cover because there's a lot of hair, you know, landing onto the bed. I want it to be clean when someone is going, coming to stay. Then I have my computer here to edit my videos and such. And you know, I have this x pen to protect the things because I don't want my bunnies to jump onto the desk. And of course to chew the cords. So this is where Popia and Silver live. They have a whole room for themselves. So they have a bed and this is the hay container. And there's their litter box. And of course there are toys as well, like that bead rack. So and there's their hoop they can jump through and a fence to chew on. Aside from that, I usually allow to hop through the hallway. So they have quite a lot of space. And when it's not too hot outside, I can take Poppy and Silver outside and let them hop around the garden. So in this bunny room, I also have this piece of art of silver, which I made myself several years ago. And of course, there are lots of bunny plushies. So last of all, I have some things for my rabbits in storage. <laughs> and Popje followed me into this room. Silver is coming too. <laughs> They're not allowed in here, but for now, uh, I'm just going to allow them for a few minutes. So here's the pile of food I have for my rabbits. <laughs> Popje is trying to open the bag. No, Popje! Go away. So I also have this bag of paper bedding. So here I've got more panels of the rabbit pens. So these are spare ones. Or maybe I can use them, you know, one time or another. And Poppy and Silver think it's very interesting in here because they are usually not allowed in here. So they are trying to, you know, get to everything they can get. Ah, Silver is already chewing on the baseboard. Silver, what are you doing? That's not for chewing. You have to, you know, people are watching you. That's not good behavior. You're, na you're naughty. Come, we're going outside. Popje, come. No, 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 no. And here I have another bed for them. I hope you enjoyed this video and you loved seeing my house and the signs of me being a bunny addict. And maybe there are some signs you have yourself, probably a lot of them. <laughs> so please share them in the comments because I love reading them. And then we will see each other next time. Bye!